Hey everybody, we got a new film for you, direct from Orlando, Florida, called A Christmas Karen. Uh, it's, it's based off of Karen's, but uh, what if Karen was playing the Scrooge character? It's very contemporary, it's very hip. We went to all different places around Orlando. We went to Winter Park, we went to College Park, we went to Celebration. Uh, so please check it out. I hope you enjoy it. So right now I'm in Celebration, Florida, and I want to start the filming locations of a new Christmas movie called A Christmas Karen that filmed all over Orlando and other areas surrounding Orlando. Okay, so A Christmas Karen starts um, Michelle Sims, and the reason why I want to do this movie now is because I actually know Michelle. Um, we used to work together at Universal Studios and she was just, I just remember her always backstage cracking jokes and she's just super funny and she's hilarious in this movie. And I know a couple other people that are in the movie. So I was really excited to see all my friends in this new movie. And I wasn't gonna do a filming location until last year and I decided to come to Jeter Ben again because I found out that this year is gonna be the last year they're doing the lights and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, I definitely gotta come. And then I was like, you know what? Why am I not doing the filming location? So I went to work. <laughs> I started doing my homework as fast as I could, trying to find all the filming locations. And um, I spoke to Michelle and she tried to help me out as best as she could. She had no addresses. So I really had to do my homework in this one. And it's been so much fun. So the movie actually opens up right here in front of Karen's house, which is this house right here, which for some reason looks a little different to me. But um, yes, the movie opens up at her house and it pans to the sky first it comes it starts from the sky and it says celebration florida and then it pans down towards the house and and right in between these two houses where the little girl is selling hot cocoa and then of course karen comes out and she's going off on the little girl about not being able to do that because it's illegal or whatever so that's where the scene opens up so it kind of shows like the sky or something and then it pans down and then it shows like right here in between these two houses. This is where the hot cocoa stand was at. And Karen comes up. First there's a boy that rides his skateboard across. And then Karen comes up and starts talking to the little girl. Eventually convinces her to go back inside. But this is where that was. And then there's a lot of different scenes that filmed out here. There's a scene when she faints out here in the front yard. I don't know if she was here or here, but you can definitely see this window and the house. Um, there was more plants and stuff in front of the house. It looks a little different, but not too bad. Um, and then there's a lot of scenes of her talking to the third ghost out here, her looking through this window a lot. Um, yeah, there's just different angles out here. Um, definitely see this house a lot and then you also see the um this house right here and i was just talking to the neighbor that lives there and he said his brother was the one um mowing the lawn in one of the scenes and he said he just washed it last night so yeah so cool um my friend michelle which is the main character told me that the house was told me where the house is like the town but she didn't have an address so i had to do some research until I found it yesterday. Okay, so I just left the house and um, I wanted to spend so much, so much more time there because so much of the movie was filmed there, but I was feeling slightly uncomfortable with um, the neighbor across the street. Like when I asked him a question, it was just like, he, he said it really fast and I was just like, okay, I'm kind of sensing that maybe you don't want me here. So I was trying to get everything done as fast as I could and I know that this movie just came out. So they're probably wondering like, what are you doing here? Cause not too
too much has been filmed here in Orlando, so it's kind of like people don't understand, I think. Um, if it's a really popular movie, yeah, but since this just came out and it's more, it's only on streaming services, um, I don't know that people understand the film location tourist people like us yet. But anyways, um, hopefully I got some good footage. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm at Cornerstone Market and this is where they shot two separate scenes, um, one in the beginning and one towards the end. And they actually shot right outside, um, right actually right next to that bush. And they actually shot a quick scene inside, from inside looking out. Um, so I'm gonna run those scenes with you guys. Okay, so in the first scene, the table was set right here where all three of them were sitting, Karen and her two friends. Karen, I believe, was sitting on this side facing um, the building. You can actually see cor Cornerstone at some point. Sometimes the angle seems like it's coming from like down below, um, but the angle also alternates between right here and this side right here where you'll notice um, that tree back there, you can see this building. You can see one of these poles, like when there's a close-up shot of Karen, um, you can actually see some of the stuff in the background. Um, also, there's, in that first scene that they film here, there's a gentleman sitting right here, and when she asks for a biscotti, he tells her how much it is and that she should really get one. Um, yeah, the table was set up right here. And then, actually, I'm gonna stop right there. And then when they filmed inside, they actually placed a table right here. You do notice this register thing right here. And he comes in and he's, she's like, what, Karen? So then she's like, this is what I do. I just pour her drink onto another cup and he starts laughing and walks back out. But it's a very small clip that happened right here. And then the second scene that films out here is after the placita scene and the third ghost brings her here and I believe her friends are sitting at the table again and he's trying to explain to her that the person that died is not who she thinks it is and she just doesn't get it and then eventually he you know he just tells her um, and then it cuts to the next scene. But yeah, that scene filmed here um, as well. And I, I gotta look, but I feel the angles alternate as well. Don't make me go to another coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now I'm at the location where Karen runs over the kid on the bike. And she's actually driving towards this direction up to the stop sign and you can actually see this pink sign on the left hand side and when she stops that's when she hits the kid she's like oh my god what was that and she gets out of the car and goes around and starts saying oh my god oh my god and you think that she's like worried about the kid and then she's all worried about her car <laughs> and the fact that it got scratched but that happened right here and then after that scene, you can see these houses right here, or apartments over here, when um, I think it's it's not one of the three ghosts. It's like the, the one that's warning her about her behavior. So um, she appears on this side of the road right here. And supposedly her childhood home from later on in the movie is supposed to be in this area, but I have not found it. I don't have an address for it. Um, so I don't know about that one. So when you see her driving her car, you do notice this blue building on the right hand side. And then it starts showing the street this way. And then it pans over to the front of the car, I believe. And then 
and then again from the inside of the car. And so you get a couple different angles. Like I was saying, you do notice this sign on the left and then the stop sign. And as she approaches the stop sign, and I think she's about to then take, she's about to keep going. And that's when the kid um, drives up and she, I guess, slightly hits him and gets out of the car. And when she gets out of the car, you'll notice two different things because the angle changes. But at first you'll notice the kid going down this direction here. So you'll notice right here and there's like a little girl playing over here. And then the angle changes at some point and you'll notice this house right here. Um, so that's really cool. I don't know if you notice the church at all, but I feel like you do see it at some point, but not as much, not as much as you see this sign right here. But yeah, this is the area. And then I kind of was driving around to see if I could find um, her childhood home when she is visited by the first ghost of the past. And I have not been able to find it, sadly. But anyways, this is the area. At some point too in that scene when she's driving, the, the angle changes from in front of the car. And you can actually see this mailbox over here to the left. Also towards the end of that scene, when she gets out of the car, this is when we first are introduced to Jackie, which is her friend um, that passed away and is comes back in spirit to warn her. She comes from behind the car and she's holding a sign that says the end is near. But this is the first time that we see her and we never see her face, but she's holding that sign in front of her face. Okay, so I went ahead and started walking and I found the house. This is the childhood home in the film and you can even see that particular like it's like triangle like these two triangles um like one over the other you can you can't see it too much because of the car right there but that's definitely the house it's yellow and it's got these really cool like i don't know these cool accents to it that gives it away but that is the house so cool i was talking to um two people that were walking and I told them about the movie, they had no idea that had filmed so close. And they were looking at the picture and they're like, ah, there, there is a lot of homes around here this way, but um, they didn't know which one it was, but they pointed me to the right direction, so that's cool. Okay, so in that scene is after she meets the first ghost and they first go into a field, like he, he has her hold her hand and they jump into this field and then eventually they jump into here and then you it's a very quick shot but you see them walking towards the house and that's what's shot right here and i think that was the only scene that filmed here so unfortunately because that car is in the way you can't really see it as well and the blue one but um there it is and it's like maybe like right here you can kind of see them walking towards the house this is so cool i can't believe i found it nice And you actually can see this house at some point when they're walking up to the house. I think they're like standing like right over here where you can notice this house as well. So freaking cool. I love it and I love this house. All right, we're going off to the next location now. Christmas Karen. All right guys, so now I'm in La Placita as you can see. And I'm so sad because the lady inside was telling me they just changed the colors. This used to be red and green, which was perfect for Christmas, but they, she just she said they just painted it recently. But anyways, they filmed two scenes here, once towards the beginning of the film and the other one towards the end of the film. And um, it's crazy because if you're a Latino and you live here in the Orlando area, Kissimmee area, you know La Placita. So when I saw that in the movie, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But anyways, it's really cool. Um, in this scene, in the first one, actually he's in both. Um, there's another friend of mine in the scene, Ali Flores. He's in that scene in the background and he actually has a line 
That was really funny. Um, but anyways, I went inside first and I asked, you know, permission to take pictures and she said it's fine. So I'm gonna show you guys um, both separate scenes because they filmed um, exteriors and interior scenes here. Okay, so I was slightly wrong. There's actually three separate scenes that filmed here. And the very first one, you'll see La Placita from the outside quickly as she's parking her car. Then the next scene, she's at the register and she starts complaining to the, the girl at the register as she asks to speak to the manager. So the rest of the scene is inside. Um, then there's another scene that filmed right out here and it's towards the end of the movie, which I was surprised to see another friend of mine is actually in that scene. His name is Billy and his song is playing in, on the, in, the, in the background, but he comes out and he starts dancing and he uh, go, makes a little circle and then leaves and there's another girl with him. Um, but she is out here and when she arrives, she arrives with the Uber driver and he parks the car right about here. And I think he opens the door for her. She comes out and she starts dancing here. Um, and that's when my friend comes out as well, Billy. And then the rest of that scene is filmed inside. Okay, so I'm inside right now and they filmed almost in this whole area. Like I know they filmed right here. There's a part like towards the end of the movie where she's talking. There's like some people talking right here because you do see meat, uh, meat and carnes, the sign like you see all this. So I know that there's a scene right here. Dancing. And then in the first scene, she's up in the front and that register right there, register four. And that's where she asked to talk to the manager. So at some point she's up there and that's in the first scene. Um, and then there's one other scene when she comes back with the spirit of the future and there she's wondering why she's here again and that was filmed somewhere back here so I gotta look back at all my clips and make sure I have everything correct okay so right now I'm at the actual register <laughs> where they filmed um, the scene when she's at the register and Ali would have been standing my friend would have been standing right here when he's like give her a bottle of wine or whatever it is that he says um but yeah that all filmed right here she would have been standing right here so i'll i'll turn the camera around and show you guys the correct angle in a minute all right so here's register four this is where Kashir was and karen and she starts complaining and asks for the manager the manager would have come from this angle right here i was standing like right about here she's talking to karen and She's like, I want to speak to your manager. Um, but yeah, this would be it. And uh, the guy would have been, the guy who offers her a wine would have been right over here. Um, yeah, and that's about it with that scene. And there's also another scene towards the end of the movie where she she's also comes to the, the same register as a changed woman. So when she comes back with the ghost of the future, this is where the scene opens up and they're standing right over here. And you can notice all this in the background and the dairy sign right there. It's probably like right there. And then the next scene cuts to the next aisle. And then the angle is like um, right over here. And they're talking like right over here where you can see the door and the exit this was painted white and this looked like a color red over here and the next the very next scene again it cuts to the next aisle he's already there and she walks over and he's like grabbing something from over here or looking at something but that would be the next scene right here and then eventually it moves over to the scene that's right here And then here's the angle after they're talking over here, they start moving closer to this side. And then there's people right over here and there's some bottles of wine right here. But this is the angle that you see. You don't see this right here. So it was more like 
that. You do notice this one right here though. There's also a scene where she's like dancing with the cart, where she's wearing the red dress. I believe that filmed over here. You can see her like with the cart going this way. Um, this was red, so I don't know if it was that side. I don't see anything that looks red, unless it was, I don't know. I have a feeling it was down that way, because you do see, I don't know, all the produce is what you see. You see like the tomatoes and all that stuff. So I'm pretty sure she was going down this lane right here, dancing. Um, and then I gotta see what else, where else she was dancing. And then at some point she grabs this and pulls it and the, the camera follows it. So the angle is, you know, would be facing that way, but she does grab this at some point and pulls that. And then there's a scene when, um, I think she's on top of the car and somebody's pushing her on it. And I think that film where it says vegetables, Oh, I see it from here. So that was filmed over there. I'm finding everything little by little. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, you see right there, the bags to the right where I just put the movie clip. That's where that scene actually filmed and not where I said previously. I had to take this clip from a previous video just to show you the right spot. So, sorry. Okay, so I found it. So I was right. This right here was painted red during the movie. Um, I don't know if they painted it red just for the movie, but... This pole was actually white as well, that's changed. And this is when she goes across right here with um, what's, what's supposed to be one of the customers and she's on, on the cart, on the cart. Yeah, this is when, right here where she was by. There's actually another scene too when she's wearing the red dress and she comes this way and she grabs a bottle of wine. Um, but yeah, I almost forgot about that scene. It's like right here. So right now I'm in this big field <laughs> at a hotel and the reason I'm here is because after the first ghost, the ghost of the past, visits Karen at her house, um, after he convinces her to hold her hand, to hold his hand um, so they can travel to the past, the first place that they go to is a big field and it's somewhere around here that they filmed and it like that scene alternates between the field and then like it's supposed to be like a road and there is a road this way and then there's a road that way um there's a lot of trees behind them and the grass is really um built up so i would think that they filmed that scene straight back there because the trees are much higher so that's what I'm thinking that it might have been filmed. I'm not ex exactly sure what areas. Um, I just know the hotel that they filmed at. And she told me, Michelle um, told me that they filmed on the field outside of the hotel. So it was somewhere around here. Um, I'm gonna get closer over there to see if, if it might look a little familiar. So it looked like this, like, the overgrown that they were standing in front of, like that area looked more like this. Um, I don't know what these are called, but you can kind of see that um, on the ground where they were standing. I just kind of walked from all the way over there to here, just cause it looks more overgrown over here. And then when they are on the road, I don't know exactly what area they used. But there's like two bushes right in front of them. It looks like little blue flowers. I don't see anything like that around here. Um, you don't see any of this, by the way. There's no buildings behind them or anything. And I don't think this is it. And I doubt that they went back there. I mean, I wouldn't, but they could have. They could have filmed back there somewhere. But anyways, I just thought I would come back here and look. But, uh yeah <laughs> so when when it switches to them being on the road all of a sudden it almost looks like it would have been here um 
you do see a lot of trees in the background. Like I said, you don't see the building. And I don't, you don't notice any of these in the background. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna drive around this hotel and see if there's anything that resembles more of that area. But I would think that it kind of does look like they were like, would have been around here. I don't know. Oh, Karen. So when the Uber driver finds out that she had been on one of his rides before and gave him no stars and um, I think talked to the manager about, I don't know. She basically was terrible to this Uber driver. When he found out, he kicked them out. And this is the spot where um, he dropped them off at, right here. You can actually notice that thing right there. <laughs> bar where they filmed at but they're under construction right now and the, I guess the manager in there just told me that it looks entirely different inside so it's not gonna look the same but this is the outside when they were walking and he's like we're at a bar so this is the area right here now this not may be the exact apartment that they were coming down from but I believe this is the same ones because um, it looks exactly the same as you can see. So I might have found it, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, they all kind of look like this, and I feel like they show something like this too, where the golf cart was parked. So maybe, but this looks a lot like when they're coming down the stairs. Okay, so after talking to the director of the movie, he assured me that I was correct, that this is the actual spot where they filmed and they were coming down after they got out of the apartment. And then right there was where the golf cart was parked. And that is the actual golf cart right there. So crazy. <laughs> oh my God. So thanks to the director told me that this is the hair salon where they filmed that, but it's closed. It looks like they're leasing the property out or something. This is where they filmed that scene at. Um, so that's all that I could show you right there, but that's where it was. That's where they filmed the scene. Um, see the chairs and everything still in there. Um, but yeah, not much to show you from that one. Okay. Guys, well, welcome to Lights at Jeter Bend. So when the scene starts, I believe they're on the golf cart and they're going down that direction. And they'll show you the houses on both sides. And then there's a scene where there's kind of the cart, the golf cart kind of stops in front of these angel wings that light up. But I think those wings were placed in a different spot for the movie than it is today. Um, so I was trying to find the exact same spot because there's like a little white fence um, right next to the wings. Um, but I haven't really found that spot. But anyways, um, there's a lot of music going on, a lot of noises. So I will, I may have to, um, you know, for copyright issues, I may have to put different music on just so I can show you guys what it looks like. And this was exactly how it was um, when they filmed, because they do this every year. 
Um, and it's kind of funny because in the movie, um, Joy is actually, you know, telling Karen that um, unfortunately this will be the last time or soon this is all gonna be over and it was because of her. And it's crazy that the movie comes out and the same year, this is supposed to be the last time that they're gonna do the lights at Judah Bend. So it's very bittersweet. So right here in this area, this is where those angel wings that you see over there, I don't know if you guys can see them, those angel wings were actually placed right here for the movie. You can see the fence, that white fence in the background, and this window that is covered by this guy. You can see that window right there as well um, in the shot. But yeah, the wings were literally right here for the movie. So that's cool. And then Karen and Joy were right here in the golf cart. So yeah, so the golf cart, should have, it could have been like right here because you would have seen the wings right here. You notice this house in the background and then you see that fence like I was saying. You would have seen that at some point you can actually see this same sign here that says Joy um, behind them as they're driving in the golf cart. So I just wanted to point that out. I don't think it's placed in the same spot in the movie, but I just thought that was cool that that exact same sign is visible in the movie. After they show um, celebration and you see the big tree and everything, um, Karen and the third ghost, which I forget her name right now, they come to this building, um, which I believe this is where Karen's neighbor works at. And there was a donate box that was placed like right over here and it said, donate here, toys for joy. and their little golf cart stops like right about here and they're talking and then she sees her neighbor coming out of this door and then some lady comes and drops off some gifts whatever whatever but either way this is where it all happened they show this building um from across the street a few times like where i'm standing and then maybe like around here and then they also show it up close and you can see the donate box so um, it's really busy right now because everybody's coming to, um, you know, the Jeter Ben lights and all that stuff. So it's like super busy. Okay, so I think when the scene begins, you see the building from like right about here where you notice this, I don't even know what that is. It probably has the name of the building on there, but I can't see it right now. But you do, you do see that circle right there and the donate box is right here. And then the next shot is a closer shot of Karen um, with the third spirit on the golf cart. Sorry, it's really hard for me to do this because all these cars keep like driving back and forth. So forgive me. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a little break, see if I can wait. I'm trying to hurry up before more cars come because I, I guess it's because this is a parking lot over here. So they keep coming. But the donate box is right here and you can notice these two windows and you can see um, Chris coming out of the door right here. Oh, but yeah, the donate box was like right here. And this is right here where the golf cart was parked. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it. Um, that scene is pretty and brief. Towards the end of that scene, um, Joy, the ghost of the present, I think takes off and Karen is left by herself and she's standing like right about here and she drops her sweater here she picks it up and then you see the next scene which i can't remember what it is right now but yeah 
So towards the end of the scene, you see her picking up her sweater right here. should they? Well, you're not going to see the Burnses. I actually did just go to that location right there. Um, and yes, on my birthday. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to start doing this as a tradition, but no, I'm just kidding. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but you know. But anyways, um, I believe there's a funeral being taken place right now, so <laughs> I'm definitely not going to go ask. Um, I might try to go back some other time and just ask to take pictures for my Instagram account. So maybe I'll do that, but I really want to put this video out before or for Christmas. So I don't, I'm not going to have any time to go back before then because I'm going on a trip tomorrow. So, um, yeah. So just wanted to let you know that at least I tried. I do have this picture right here, um, that I snapped, um, as I was leaving. So that's all I got for you guys. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that concludes this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have not watched A Christmas Karen, please go watch the film. I would love if you guys would support this film um, and everyone that works so hard on this film. I want to thank Michelle and the director of the film, John. I never thought I would ever say that in my life, but I want to thank the both of them so much for helping me with this video. Um, it was funny because John was so impressed that I had already found a lot of the locations and he's like, all right, well, here's the last two that you need. So thank you for that. And, um, yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye.